What is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby back at the grocery store. You did not think I was gonna let the summer go by without doing an ice cream review, which actually is a lot harder than I thought because so many of these ice creams are loaded with sugar and bad ingredients, but we're gonna take the time to do a deep dive into ice cream, tell you which ones to buy, which ones to avoid, hit some good dairy-free ice cream options, some low sugar, some keto ice cream options. We're gonna hook you up with premium brands, even economical brands to buy and avoid. We're gonna do it all. But before we do that, take a second and subscribe to my channel, my friends, because every week we are rocking out three videos on this channel, two videos on the weekend and a live stream during the week. So after you sub, click that little bell icon right below the video. That way you get a push notification as soon as we go live. And these live streams are super fun. We're doing a recipe from start to finish and you do not want to miss out. All right, let's start off with some of the more recognizable ice cream brands, the ones we can find everywhere, like Blue Bunny. And actually, I wanna grab this one too. I think for this video, I'm gonna grab most vanilla flavors because those are the most basic. It's also the most popular ice cream flavor in the country, but you can really get a good gauge of the ingredients they use. Now, if we look at Blue Bunny, uh, we see a couple things that right off the bat are not good. There's a line here that says, produced with genetic engineering. That's in bowls. They're pretty much saying they use GMO product for this, GMO milk, GMO eggs that the uh, chickens feed on corn from. But this is vanilla. Vanilla should literally have a few uh, ingredients. Eggs, cream, milk, sugar, uh, vanilla bean, that's it. We look at this one, there's fructose. There's natural and artificial flavorings. There's carabine and cellulose gum. Those are okay when you start to go to the dairy-free ice creams because they help make the texture creamier, but you shouldn't have to put it in this. There's carrageenan in here, guys, look at this. They put carrageenan, we've talked about this a lot recently. Carrageenan is a seaweed. Uh, it helps with the texture of products, but a lot of um, brand makers are moving away from that because it's fairly bad for your gut bacteria and the flora in your gut. Um, and then we have caramel coloring and annatto. So this is a major no, but the funny thing is, if you want to get the Blue Bunny uh, frozen yogurt vanilla, it's way better. Look at the ingredients, it's actually good. It actually is the ingredients it should be in this. There's none of those bad ingredients for emulsifiers, so I would scoop this one for sure, and $3.97 for a big tub, that's the way to go. All right, this one, my friends, is a really popular low-carb, sugar-free ice cream. And we're going to talk more about keto sugar-free ice creams coming up later on. There's some really good ones out there. The problem is you want to stay away from this one because if we look at the ingredients once again, that's it, you guys. This is what the video is all about. It's really easy. Ingredients. If you can't pronounce them, if you don't recognize them, skip it. Um, this one, they're using maltodextrin as the third ingredient. We all know that maltodextrin is a food preservative. It's also derived from corn. Is it GMO corn? Yes, it's GMO corn because it doesn't say non-GMO. Also, maltodextrin spikes your blood sugar because it's very high on the glycemic index, so that's really bad. Then we have mono and diglycerides. Um, that's another word for trans fatty acids. So they're putting trans fats in here for two reasons, to make the uh, product more shelf stable and have a longer life, but to make it more creamy. Not necessary at all. Trans fats are so bad for your heart and your health. Really bad stuff. Then they're using natural flavoring, and the sweetener they're using is one of the worst. It's sucralose or Splenda. Is it saying on here? It's Splenda. It's a chemically made, man-made sugar that's terrible. I want you to stay away from this one. All right, let's go to Breyer's ice cream. This is something I kind of grew up with. And I'm going to grab, once again, the vanilla here. And I'm telling you, back in the day, Breyer's used to be good. It had really basic ingredients. I don't know what's happened over the years, but um, it's still decent milk, cream, sugar, vegetable gum, but natural flavoring. You don't need to add natural flavoring to vanilla ice cream. Get the natural flavor from the vanilla bean. And once again, we've talked about this a million times. Whenever you see natural flavoring on labeling, it should be a red flag going up immediately because it's nothing natural about it. Once again, a natural flavor is something you have to start with, like natural, say, vanilla bean. A scientist in a lab can add a hundred different chemicals and preservatives to it, and you can still call it natural. It's not regulated by the government, and it's really bad for you, so I want you to stay away, and unfortunately, you gotta stay away from all the briars. Um, the good news is, come down here, Art. If you want, like, the OG, good quality vanilla, haagen right? haagen was like the brand of the 80s, right, Art? This is what, we grew up in this stuff back in the 80s. Look at the ingredients. This is where it's at. Cream, milk, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract. Boom, clean ice cream, 388, not too bad. So haagen I can totally support. I mean, the sugar though, you know, it's 18 grams of sugar for half a cup. Hey, 
it's, uh, it's ice cream after all. If you want a lower sugar, lower carb, wait until later on when you start hitting those. Um, but what happened to Ben and Jerry's, man? They sold out to Unilever back in 2000. And I swear to you, the ingredients have gone downhill because once again, we grab the vanilla. Look at the ingredients here. They're using guar gum and carrageenan. They're putting carrageenan. There's no need to put that in a natural vanilla ice cream. And all these flavors here have the same stuff. So this is super disappointing. I would not grab that. Edie's makes a sugar-free ice cream here. And on the surface, you might get excited about it, but we see right there that it's made with Splenda. So that's red flag number one. But also, if you read the ingredients, way too long. That is a laundry list of ingredients. Terragena, they're using the natural flavor. They're using tons of preservatives and chemicals in here. This is where it's that instance where you take out the sugar and you put in so many other bad ingredients that it's worse off for you. You're actually better off eating the sugar at that point. Um, something that I'm so close to liking is right down here. Um, first, this takes us to our first trip to Dairy Freeland. Um, this is a good brand of dairy-free ice cream. It's uh, so delicious. They have different uh, nut milks and cashew and almond and coconut, but this is the no sugar line, and we'll see more of those when we go to Whole Foods next. And I like everything on here except the dreaded natural flavoring is the last ingredient. I'm gonna say still, if you're dairy-free and you want sugar-free, I'm gonna support this. Even though I don't like natural flavorings, it's really hard to find um, ones that don't have natural flavoring. The sweeteners are erythritol. Everything else is good, and they're using, look at that, monk fruit extract, a really high quality sugar substitute along with erythritol. If you do buy this one, let it sit on the counter for 15 minutes before scooping it. Otherwise, it's really hard because of the sugar-free sweeteners. All right, let's talk about the ice cream that is taking over the world, Halo Top. Now, the first thing you'll notice about Halo Top, and Art did too, it's light as a feather, right? Because it's a whipped ice cream. So the reason why it's so light in uh, a lot of the uh, macros and nutrients is because there's less volume in here. So keep that in mind. Um, the ingredients are not bad, right? We look at it, everything looks good. They're using erythritol in here um, as the sugar-free sweetener. Unfortunately, it does have the natural flavorings, but when you look at the uh, macros, it's not quite as low carb as it used to be and maybe as you think. Uh, total carbs are 16, minus the fiber is 13, minus the uh, sugar alcohol is eight. So eight net carbs for half a cup is a little high. Um, it is light though, so if you're looking for a light uh, in terms of calories and fat, this is where you wanna go, but you're gonna end up eating the whole thing because it's not as filling and satisfying as another ice cream. So I can't quite give up my stamp of approval because it has the natural flavoring and it is high in sugar, but keep that in mind when you're buying Halo Top. Um, another thing, like right here, this is popular. I love the uh, ice cream selection here at uh, Walmart. They actually have a lot of stuff. Arctic Zero. Um, it's a light ice cream, too. I don't like the fact, once again, they put natural flavorings in here. And it is high in sugar, so it's not low carb. And the texture of this is no good. It's very hard and frozen, and the flavor is super muted. I would not get that. Now, something we talked about a lot last week in the cheese video is organic. Organic dairy is way better than conventional. Watch that video, I'll tell you why. Look what they have here. They have Humboldt Creamery organic ice cream. They have coffee and vanilla, and the ingredients are really, really good. Everything was good on the back and the organic dairy is way better. It's $2.98 for a pint. It's actually cheaper than the Haagen-Dazs, um, but Art did notice that even though the Haagen-Dazs is $3.88, it's very heavy and dense, right, Art? So you get more bang for your buck. All right, another dairy-free ice cream is Kado. It makes sense, right? It's fatty and creamy, and it makes a really good dairy-free base. The ingredients are really nice here. It's not low in sugar, keep that in mind. I did see a vanilla one at Whole Foods that had avocado oil, not any of the avocado meat. So I wouldn't get that because you want that meat. There's a lot of good uh, fiber in there. I'm going to Dairy Free Bars. So Delicious makes fantastic bars. Also, when you're buying So Delicious, I would always get the cashew milk one because cashews are really rich and fatty and dense, way better texture than coconut or almond, but it does have high sugar, right? It has uh, 18 grams of sugar for a half a cup, so keep that in mind. Um, but if you want dairy-free, this too is a fantastic bar. Yeah, so once again, the only thing I don't like about the So Delicious brand is that it has the natural flavoring. I'm hoping at uh, Whole Foods they have uh, Coconut Bliss Bars by Larry and Luna. Those are one of my favorite dairy-free ones. But then you go right next to it. This is a Magnum plant-based dairy bar, but all you have to do is look at the ingredients and they have 
natural flavorings. They have the trans fat in the terms of the mono and diglycerides. They have carrageenan, and they put wheat and corn in here that's a GMO. So I'd stay away from that one for sure. But there are a couple more bars down there. Let's check that one out. Let's grab a few of these pops here and see if any of these are Bobby approved. With Actually, this one is. Check it out, Johnny Pops. I had never heard of this before. Your dad Three probably has. Oh, Johnny, my dad Johnny P has, yeah. Super simple ingredients, like it says on the box here. Everything's clean, and no preservatives, nothing too artificial on here, so this one's a go. Um, I'd like to recommend these fruit bars here, but they put the natural flavoring in here. Weight Watchers, I mean, I'm always skeptical of anything by Weight Watchers, but we look in the back here, they're putting carrageenan in here, but the ingredients are not very good. And then I really want to like this brand, Yasos, because they're using Greek yogurt here. Once again, they do put natural flavoring. That's the only bad ingredient in here. So that's it, you guys. We covered everything at Walmart. Let's go over to Whole Foods because they have a lot more uh, really high quality uh, ice creams that I think you're gonna like. Uh, before we leave, I'm doing a cookbook party on August 3rd here in Chicago. I'll put the link down below. It's gonna be fun, you guys. We're doing recipes from the cookbook, drinks, appetizers. Everyone who buys a ticket is gonna get a signed cookbook. And I'm doing a VIP cooking demo hour. There's only like 70 tickets left. I'm gonna put that link in the description box so if you live in the area we would love to see you there all right you guys whole foods has some new options here including low carb and keto ice cream which is super exciting let's start with enlightened this is the first low carb brand i want to talk about the only one i want you to get is the vanilla because if you read the ingredients they're clean right they're using erythritol and monk fruit as the sweetener which is fantastic and then right below that is Slim Twin. This is a uh, part of the uh, Three Twins family. And it's really good because uh, it's uh, a little lower in fat and sugar. And instead of using actual sugar as a sweetener, they're using monk fruit and erythritol. And once again, we're only talking about 13 minus six, so seven minus two, five net grams of carbs for this. Any one of these is fine here. They don't have any natural flavoring. So this is fantastic. Then I brought with me, because they don't have it here, this is probably one of the better keto brands of ice cream here. <laughs> this is uh, Rebel Creamery. Look at the ingredients. They actually use cream. Uh, once again, when you have these monk fruit or erythritol sweeteners, let them sit on the counter for 15 minutes so they can really soften up. I wish this was organic, but this is one of the better ones. Here's another great brand, you guys. This is Alden Organics. It used to be called Julie's. Um, it's not low carb but the ingredients are super clean, organic dairy, right? Higher in omega-3s, lower in omega-6s, higher in conjugated linoic acids, really good stuff. Um, the stony field here is okay. It's not my favorite, even though it's organic, it does have uh, natural vanilla flavoring in here, um, but it's an okay, I'd much rather get the Alden. Uh, Graders is really popular, it's from Ohio, I believe, where Jenny's is from too. I would only get the vanilla flavor because that's the cleanest one. The other ones have natural flavoring. And then Jenny's. I love Jenny's, Art loves Jenny's. The thing is, I have to verify if it's 100% grass fed because it always says grass grazed and I couldn't verify yet. It's not low carb, it's not low sugar, but it's some of the best premium ice cream you can get. Just like the Slim Twin, this is the Three Twins and the Maxines. These are organic. Super clean, not low sugar, not low fat, but really good in organic ingredients, the kind of stuff you want to see. So I would definitely scoop these. Right, the thing is, I'm kind of on the fence about Talenti for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, if we look at the, no, let's look at this one. The Sicilian pistachio. Pistachio is my favorite gelato flavor. They put natural flavorings in here and carob gum. Real gelato doesn't need emulsifiers like carob or gel and gum. And it has the natural flavors here that you don't need. So I would pass on Talenti. And then, this is the Whole Foods effect in real life here. Look, they have the Kato ice cream too. It's on sale, but the regular price is $6.99. They had it at Walmart for $4.99. So uh, Whole Foods is not always more expensive, but usually for the third-party brands they are. Uh, let's go check out some more sugar-free options. As we come back to the dairy-free and the sugar-free, here at Whole Foods they have a much more extensive uh, So Delicious dairy-free collection. I would say you really want to try the cashew milk ice cream because it's super thick and creamy. If you want to try something even creamier, the oat milk one is really good too, but it's even higher in carbs because oats are super high and starchy. 
Um, and then they have more of the so delicious dairy-free and sugar-free. But just be careful because unfortunately, once again, they have natural flavorings in here, but it's pretty cool that it's a dairy and sugar-free uh, one. And then right next to that is Almond Dream, which is dairy-free made of almond milk, but this one's loaded with a ton more bad stuff than the so delicious. We have maltodextrin and natural flavorings in here and tapioca maltodextrin, so I'd much rather get the so delicious otherwise. And then if you want more keto options, that Rebel is available at a couple grocery stores. You could also order it online. Um, there's one called Mammoth Creameries. It's mostly in Texas, but you can order online. Killer Creameries in Colorado, but you can also order online. And Keto Pint is online. These are all really high quality uh, keto ice creams. I'm gonna put the link down below in the description box. All right, we might as well do cones and toppings too. Kind of slim pickings here, right? But once again, three twins who makes the organic ice cream, make organic cones. I mean, the first ingredient is wheat flour, which is processed and rich flour, but they don't have any natural flavorings in here or any really bad preservatives. So I would get this. I kind of like the look of this gluten-free cone here, but when I looked at the ingredients, they have expelled pressed palm oil. So that's a no. Um, and then, I mean, you can get chocolate syrup like this, but keep in mind, it's basically a mixture of sugar and cocoa powder. At least these are organic, and at least these don't have um, preservatives, chemicals, and natural flavoring. So these two would be okay. And the cherries are just way too sugary. These are just off limits. And then I want to do a quick uh, note about the uh, ice cream at Trader Joe's. Um, they have a love affair at Trader Joe's with carrageenan and natural flavorings. Pretty much all of their ice creams have that. And the dairy-free coconut ice cream has uh, mono and diglycerides on there. It has that trans fat. So read the label because at Trader Joe's, it's really, really sneaky. So you guys, that is it. We just covered all of the ice creams. It's not the normal haul because it's not about healthy. It's just about finding ice creams with real ingredients, not too much sugar, trying to find the keto ones and use real whole ingredients. And shouldn't it be that hard, but unfortunately it is. Uh, so that is it, you guys. A recap of all of my favorite ice creams, whether they're sugar-free, keto, and the real deal is down below. I know there's a lot of information. We'll put it all in the description box. Uh, we got two more review and haul videos going below us right now. But Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.